Napping. Napping is actually really popular in many cultures, especially in the ones which have hotter climates. For example, in Spain, the afternoon siesta is a common practice where shops and restaurants actually just shut down to allow people to rest. Naps can be beneficial when maintaining an optimal sleep schedule is challenging as they help reduce daytime drowsiness. However, there are three potential downsides to this. Firstly, napping during the day might make it harder to sleep at night because it reduces the sleep pressure built up throughout the day. Secondly, the body can come to expect naps, making it harder to stay awake through the afternoon. And lastly, if there's too much sleep deprivation, naps can sometimes make the body feel more tired rather than more alert. The perfect nap varies in duration and benefits, but it's safe to say that a 20 to 30 minute nap stops short of stage three sleep, making it easy to wake up from and beneficial for strengthening synapses in the brain, which is really good for learning and connections in the brain. A 30 to 60 minute nap allows the body to move into stage three sleep, integrating information into long-term memory. However, it's hard to wake up from, and the benefits might not be felt until about 15 minutes after waking. A 60 to 90 minute nap enters REM sleep, which is good for emotional processing and creative problem solving. And it might be easier to wake up from than stage three sleep. Adopting erratic sleep times and viewing sleep as something you can catch up on later can disrupt your body's regular cycle, making it difficult to fall asleep when you want to and resulting in lots of tossing and turning. Erratic sleep wake times are also associated with chronic health conditions, such as obesity, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, heart disease, and even Alzheimer's and cancer. This is likely because when you get less deep sleep, which is essential for the body to properly repair and rejuvenate itself. To determine if you're getting enough sleep, answer the following questions with a true or false. I need an alarm clock to wake up at the appropriate time. It's a struggle for me to get out of bed in the morning. Weekday mornings, I hit the snooze bar several times to try and get more sleep. I feel tired, irritable, and stressed during the week. I have trouble concentrating and remembering. I feel slow with critical thinking, problem solving, and being creative. I often fall asleep watching TV. I often fall asleep in boring meetings or lectures or in just warm rooms. I often fall asleep after heavy meals or a low dose of alcohol. I often fall asleep while relaxing after dinner. I often fall asleep within five minutes of getting into bed. I often feel drowsy while driving. I often sleep extra hours on weekend mornings. I often need a nap to get through the day. I have dark circles around my eyes. If you answered true to three or more of these questions, the answer is no, you are not getting enough sleep.